Hello right, guys, welcome to the Solid Motion VFX. This time we'll be looking at how to set up a simple shooting AI. And uh, we're just going to continue with using our advanced robot here from the Humble Bundle in the package. And uh, first of all, if you didn't see the last video, if you're still uh, using a version below 1.1, you will be need to look at that video because you need to make a little small modification in order to make the uh, AI attack your player. So because your player needs the the player needs the player component, and uh, there's a little uh, update to that. So this component here, the player script, you need to ensure that you saw the last video if you're using a version below 1.1. Otherwise, if you are in the near future watching this, then you don't need that. Then the, it will be fixed. Okay, cool. I will be linking that in the description below. So using this uh, robot here, let's go set him up. Go to on AI, and let's go to open a character creation design. Let's drag in our robot here, and we're gonna make him a good guy because my player is in the AI group called bad guy. And then we're gonna create a animated controller for him. You can just put it in whatever directory you want. Let's just call it shooting AI controller. Save like so, and hit create. Now we have him, so we can disable that. Let's just rename him to Shooting AI, like so. And also make sure he has the, the good guy uh, layer on him. And uh, if we scroll down here, you can see it creates an AI component. And that's good. Now let's open up the root hero key, go down to find that right arm. So here it is. So uh, this robot comes with a default weapon uh, on his hand. So basically, it looks like this when you have the package, right? You can rename it whatever you want, but just make sure you create an MG if you don't have any weapon from the beginning. Uh, right click on the right hand, create an uh, create an MG, and then uh, call it weapon or whatever you want. So this is the weapon he's going to be using, which is this rifle here. So for this weapon, we need to add two scripts. So for the for the weapon, we need to add a shooting weapon script and a attack script, like so. And uh, if we go back to the shooting AI. The first of all, let's set up uh, his uh, animations. So I'm not using root motion update auto uh, controller here. And basically, we don't have a head target, but you can easily create that yourself. Actually, let's go ahead and do that so we get rid of this error here. Okay, so now I have set up the animations, and I didn't put up any combat animations because I'm just going to use the same ones. And for the single animation, I just put in an attack and a dying animation here. And uh, let's go in and quickly make a waypoint system for him as well. Something like that. Increase the radius here. Okay. So let's uh, test out, see what we got. So he's idling, he's walking around, so that's working good. Okay. So next thing, what you want is going to your, uh, let's see, the combat. Uh, we don't want him to flee. And the armor, let's say it's a zero. Uh, you can of course place with these, uh, play with these yourself. And you see it already detected the weapon system here we have here. So because we added our uh, shooting weapon script to this, that's why it detected this. For the scanning layer, make sure that it sees the bad guy. Now here's the important the detection range. I spoke with Ronnie and he said that it's advisable that you put the detection range 20% uh, higher than the range in the uh, shooting range here. So the range here, if you set that to 20, like so, then the shooting range, which you will find on the weapon itself, this range here. So damage, how much damage you want to apply to the player? 40. Here you can go in and set up the sounds as we saw before. 
So projectile, uh, how I saw, uh, noticed this is if you go into the example scene and just look at the Cubeman battle example. Okay, so in the previous video we also saw uh, uh, how to set up a sound configuration. So for the attack sound, hit sound, you can put that up here. The same with the effects. So regarding the bullet itself, if you look at the example scene from the Cubeman uh, battle scene, then you can see that there's a default bullet in there that's already set up. So if you choose that, which is this one, so you can drag that up here, then it, uh, it's already set up. If you actually look at it, you can see what you need if you want to use your own bullets. You just need to put in this script, projectile script here, then it should work. So if we uh, go back to the shooting AI, make sure that everything's good. The scanner layer setup, uh, I want to use field of view, put it at the, let it be at the default as it is right now. So let's make a little test here to see if everything works as expected. And there he is, hit the first firing. So what you need to go to do is go into your weapon and then this attack duration. Let's put it to a real low number. So he's gonna fire at us more frequently. So he hasn't detected us and there he's there. Now he's firing at us. And we're getting hit. Uh, test it out <coughs> with another bullet. So I have this pack epic tune fix. I just want to show how it works. So if we go into the missiles and just bullet, go back to the shooting AI, uh, to the weapon, and then let's just drag this uh, bullet small here, put it over here. So now it's called bullet small blue. And what you need to do in order to make this work, you need to go into this prefab and make sure you add a projectile script on this one as well. So when you do that, now he has another bullet shooting at you. So this the projectile script that's going to make sure that we have the movement uh, and everything in there. So let's see. Let's see if he's going to see us. There. Yeah. Now he's firing blue laser at us. And he's dead. Cool. So that's it, guys. I hope you found this useful. Next time, we're going to show how to use different weapons as well. All right, guys. Another cool thing I'm going to show you is uh, if you go in and uh, create an empty a game object, and I'll just rename it to Spawner, then Honor AI has this cool uh, character spawner component. Add in your shooting AI here. Let's just give it a spawn count of uh, 7. And uh, we want them to spawn from the beginning. Layer mask, remember to enable your floor layer. So my floor layer is called just default, like so. And let's hit the play button. They should spawn around this radius we just saw. And there they are. A lot of shooting AIs right now. And they are all shooting at me. And uh, I didn't enable a uh, shoot only enemy, you can set it up so if the bullet hits each other, they will actually get impacted and uh, get damaged or even die. So that's pretty cool. And remember you can go in and set up a, you can go up and set up a hit effect and all these cool things, right? So that's it guys, uh, if you're wondering why I'm not taking uh, damage right now, that's because it depends on your uh, player controller. I'm using Invector, so I'm going to do a tutorial on that as well. So that means uh, for my use case, uh, you need to set up uh, a thing called object, uh, V-Object Damage. So if I go into my shooting AI and let's see the weapon, this bullet, small blue. If I tick that up, here it is. I have the projectile on it. I need to add something called v object damage this one 
And remember, this is because I'm using in vector, right? So it depends. It to totally depends on what which controller you're using. So I'm using this, and let's see here, layer to collide. I am a I am a bad guy here as well, and my tag is player. And everything should be as it is, but we don't want to untrigger, we want to uncollider. Now let's see it again. Now we should be able to be take damage. Yeah, see that? Now I'm taking damage and now I'm dead. Now I'm dead. So that's pretty cool. Okay guys, thank you very much. Please uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you want, and uh, i see you on the next one. Bye.